What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Torrance and in today's video, I'm playing with you all's favorite brand, Juvia's Place. And you know they went above and beyond this year for their holiday collection. So I'm starting off with that first set, the Nubian Royal set. You all always go crazy over Juvia's Place. You always go crazy over the color purple. So you know I had to get the whole set. The palette just wasn't enough. And when you purchase this set, it came with two lip products. I'm wearing one right now in today's tutorial and I cannot wait for you all to see the colors inside. So before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you also hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. But if you would like to see how I achieved this look, just go ahead and continue to watch. Ready to jump straight into things, honey, because Juvia's Place does not play. Got my holiday package in. This is the Nubian Royal package. And honestly, honey, I was not expecting things to be this large. When it came in the mail, I'm like, okay. It slides open here. You have this tab here. Pull it straight out. Got me feeling like I done received a PR box in this bad baby. Looking at it, we have the Nubian Royal Eyeshadow Palette. And we have two lip balms. This first one here is in the shade Berry. The second one here is in the shade Caramel. But we're going to start things off with the eyes. I'm going to pull this out. And because we no longer need this, we're going to slide these back in. First, I want to give you a close-up of this packaging here. It's rather simple. The back simply has the ingredients list. But honey, this is what we came for. You know we like them purples. Let me give you a close-up of that one before we get into it. All right, you see, we got three different shades of purple, three mattes, and three shimmers. So hopefully they come through for us. Honestly, I'm not sure which way I want to go with this, but all I'm going to say is we trying to go over the top. Ain't no point of plan. That's why I got my purple shirt on to get me prepared. And I'll make sure I leave all tools and products in the description bar below, but we about to jump straight into this. As with most of these miniature palettes, they don't have any shade names. They're just going by numbers. So we're going to start off with shades one through three on the top row, four through six here. And I'm going to use shade four here as a transition shade. First thing up, first thing up is loading up the brush and baby. The pigmentation that I am getting on this brush alone already got me excited. Let me go ahead and diffuse this out and see what we got going. Ooh. Oh, I think I might have underestimated Juvia's place. Baby, let me buff and blend that out. See? I tried to go in there thinking things was going to be all nice and uh, mm -mm. let me diffuse those before people think I don't know what I'm doing here, honey. I'll be right back. Let's go ahead and buff and blend. Baby, I don't even think we're going to need this second layer. Whew. She's diffusing out beautifully. I just want to get this to come up as high as possible because we want a seamless transition. Always a little harder for me to blend out my outer corner just because I have hooded eyes. Oh, look at that color there, honey. Yeah, I'm not going in with a second layer because I ain't about to build this up too dark. But let me tell you, just this color right here by himself looks like he'll make a beautiful one color look. Oh yeah, I'm liking that. I just want to diffuse this area right here. Just a tiny bit more up. So he come up with the arch of that brow. All right, we're going to jump ahead to the other side. But be a little more careful on that side. Baby, look at how Juvia's place came through for the girls. So now we about to go in with a smaller blending brush and this shade here, number three. You see how loud this one came up. I'm a little scared to see how she gonna do, but we going straight in for the kill. Ooh, baby. You see the way this brush looking? Oh yeah, let's go in and find out, come on. <laughs> yes, ma'am. 
Darker color, more pigmentation. We're going to build her up down in the lowest part of the crease first. Build that up. And once we're satisfied with that color, you're going to take, bring your brush up and diffuse those edges. Okay, because I got hooded eyes, I'm going to build up one more layer. I want that to be really dark, really pigmented. I'd be wanting you to see my crease shade from space, honey. Oh yeah, this is way, way better than that Violet's palette. Baby, when they said Royal, they was not playing. Oh yeah, just looking at that transition right there. Oh yeah, I got to hurry up and jump to this other side. I am too excited for these Leah shades. But we'll be right back after this jump cut. When I tell you, honey, just these two matte purple shades, I'm already blown away. Like, where were these when I did the violets palette? Because I'm telling you, I didn't get this level of pigmentation that I'm used to. This is one I would buy for somebody else. That violets. I'm glad I got her because I got the whole collection, but I wouldn't buy that violets for nobody else. I'm just being real with y'all. But we're going to take this Morphe M421 brush, our next glitter adhesive, and we're going to go ahead and cut this crease, girl, because I'm ready. And you already know, I want my crease cut really high. I want room for plenty of layer shades. You know what, we're going to cut that even higher and bring that in front of the eye. Why not? All right, now we're going to hit up the other side. All righty, honey, I am getting excited. I don't know which lid shades I want to use first, but I'm sitting back on them. Hmm. Gonna start off putting shade three here on our outer V. Then we're gonna put the glitter here in the front half and then bring this purple here for the outer half of our lid. Gonna load up our brush on one side and fill up our outer V with that darker purple, shade number three. We just have to make sure that area is the darkest so we can see that gradation. Who look at me sounding all educated using big words. <laughs> Normally with my lid shades, I would start on the inner corner and work my way out. But because this is a glitter, we're going to put that on second. And we're going to go in with the shader brush and put on shade number one first. All right, let's try to cover up the outer half of our lid. And she's pretty. Okay, okay. We want to try to make sure we keep this on the outer half here. We're going to try to blend this out first before we try to go in and build it up. And let's see what this second layer is going to do. See if we're going to get more shine. Yes, she is. This is pretty. I could have took this all over the lid. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go ahead, do the other side before we go in and put our glitter on. When I tell you, so far everything has been exceeding my expectations, honey. I am just truly enjoying this look. I don't even know if I've ever done an all purple look that has been this satisfying. But we about to go in, hit up shade four, because I'm like, honey, I don't see how they could have messed up a glitter. And this glitter is picking up phenomenally. Like, look at how much this product is on here. Oh, yeah, honey. 
it's not just a bunch of loose flat glitters honey this stuff is sticking and I forgot I brought this in front of the lid there so we gotta bring this down a little bit and be careful honey You can definitely see the texture from that glitter. It's giving off a much more sparkly shine. I personally think if they would have put some darker specks in there, because it looked like that may be some either periwinkle blue or some silver specks, I think if they would have went in with a slightly darker purple, it could have given this look a little more depth. But baby, even on camera, you can see the difference between that inner corner and that lid shade right here in the center. Gonna go ahead and do the other side and I'll be right back. Look at her. Baby. I ain't even finished, but I'm here to let you know. This one better than the violets. I'm not even gonna debate with nobody, not with Juvia's place, not with the fans. This one is better and I haven't even finished. So what I'm about to go ahead and do, I'm gonna cut away, I'm gonna finish off the face. And when we come back, I'll show you how we'll do the lips and the lower lash line. But I'm already letting you know. Get this palette. Get this. This is the prettiest and best mini palette that they've done so far. I still haven't tested out that orange one yet. But this here is amazing. Once again, I'll be right back. We're gonna jump cut and I'll be back to show you how we'll finish things off. Back at her, honey, and we almost through with things. And I am telling you, I am feeling myself. Switch things up a little bit because I didn't wanna keep things going the way I usually do. Normally, I would be wearing my Dose of Colors Fuego highlighter. It has a nice yellow gold hue to it. But because we're wearing this purple, I wanted to do something that would accentuate that. So I switched over to my Mirror Me highlighter. It's a nice rose gold. That pink will accentuate the eyes later on. Of course, whenever I do a purple look, I have to bring my Psychedelic Sister liner in. I was going to do a black, but I'm like, you know what, Torrance? We did the black one yesterday. We are going ahead and do this one here. For a mascara, I'm still trying to use up my Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Volume Lift and Curl Mascara. Just never let me down. For blush, I decided to stick with Juvia's Place and use my favorite, the Serafina blush. Absolutely love it. For lips, I would normally go in with my Straight Up No Chaser Lip Liner by The Lip Bar, but because I wanted to keep things rather neutral on the lips because the eyes are so bold and because we're gonna wear a balm, I wanted to get the true color of that balm. So I went in with my Plum Lip Pencil by MAC Cosmetics. This is a nice neutral shade, but it does have a slight purple undertone to it, so it'll help us see the true color of that balm. But we want to finish off the eyes before we go any further. And just because we want to try to keep things as soft as we can for a loud look, we're gonna go in here with shade number four and just use a pencil brush to blow that out on the lower lash line. And we already know, let me tap off this excess just simply because I know this is a bold and loud color. I'd rather just come back in and add a little bit more than go in with too much. And you can see how that's building and blending really quickly. Pick up a tiny bit more for this front half. Mm -hmm. I wanted that purple to be vibrant. We're gonna just jump ahead, do that on the other side. And just so we can use as many shades as possible, we're gonna go in with shade number two here and use that with a push liner brush on the lower lash line. I'm gonna try to get this to work first with the synthetic brush and then see if we need to go in with that natural hair. And this shade isn't gonna be nearly as visible as that purple smoke because it is darker. But right here on, in person I can truly see this color. I don't think it's going to translate on camera, so we're going to switch over to a natural hair brush and just see if that's going to help anything.
Yeah, you're not going to see that on camera. This is something you're definitely going to have to be in person because this has some blue looking sparkles in it and they are really pretty. But once again, this is something for people to see in person. So we're going to have to try this palette again to get a full view of how that shade looks. Yeah, I like her and she's cute, but that step there could have completely been avoided because I don't think anybody's going to notice that. And just so we can say we used every shade in this palette, we're going to go in right here with shade number five and use that as a brow bone highlight. Very rare that I do a matte brow bone highlight. I personally just like to use the same highlighter that I'm using everywhere else. Wait, that's cute. That just gave me a little lift. Okay, this is why people like matte brow bone highlights. All right, we not mad at her. Go ahead. We're going to use the same brush and that Mirror Me highlighter, and we're just going to use that to create a beaming stroke of light right here in that center corner. I mean, we want that to be banging loud. Like annoyingly loud. Like boom, pow. You see that? All right, all right. Now I just want to show you what the lip balms look in the tube. They have a purple container here. We already know. With it being called the Nubian Royal, we expected a purple packaging. And I'm so happy this is in lipstick tube format. Although liquid lip balms that go in a squeeze tube are all right. I personally prefer these because it gives me a sharper edge with application. And I'm just going to go ahead before I actually apply this purple shade in Berry. I want to show you what this shade Caramel looks like. And I'm really happy that they gave us a neutral shade here. I'm going to see if I can swatch this on the back of my hand. Yeah, see this comes up almost as a nude that you can't even tell is there. You see how that barely leaves a little color right there on my hand. This is a shade that I could probably wear on a daily basis. So it's a good thing they gave us both. Gonna swatch this berry shade, which is a nice purple. Okay, she's not nearly as deep and dark that I saw here. I'm gonna give you a color swatch there, but you can truly see that purple hue. And because we're wearing our plum liner, that should help accentuate it a little bit. Just gonna go in. Oh, first off, this smells amazing. Mm-hmm, that smells really good. Mm-hmm. All right, I, on first impressions, I wanna tell you, this smells and feels amazing on the lips. And because it's a bomb, I know it's not going to be extremely pigmented. But just looking at this, this will probably be something I will put on before my makeup and then just top this off with a gloss. She's really pretty. And she's honestly helping you focus on the eyes and with me getting ready to head to work and put on the mask, there's no point in even putting a gloss on top of this. So we're just gonna go ahead, what else do we have to do? I guess it's time to spray and get ready. All right, time to set things so they don't budge. Starting off with our Fix Plus to give us a glowy do. All nighter so things last all day. Cheap fan, expensive breeze, good times. Gonna give this a few more seconds to dry and I'll be back to give you all my final thoughts. And this is the final look. I'm gonna go ahead and give you all a full face view of things. And I'm here to tell you, honey, when Juvia's Place said newbie and royal, they meant it. This here is probably the absolute most fun I've ever had with the Juvia's Place palette. 
Greens are my absolute favorite. So when I received that Tribe in those Zulu palettes, I was just having fun. You couldn't tell me nothing about it. And for a moment, I was getting a little scared with Juvia's Place. I ain't gonna lie. The first few mini palettes, I was using them. I'm like, okay, they are all right. They nice, but they just weren't exciting me the same way their normal nine pan palettes were. This here, she definitely up there. Like, I'm not gonna say just yet that she my favorite palette, but she up there with at least in the top four with Juvia's Place for me. I want a miniature green palette like this. Like, every color performed. The only shade I could have any questions or any doubts about would be this second shade here. And that's simply because I haven't used it on the lid, so I'm not sure how it builds, how it sparkles. But here on the lower lash line, I can see it in person. But for these other five, I have no issues. And I know a lot of people do not like pressed glitters, but when I tell you, that thing picked up and applied so fast and so easily. Like, get you this palette, sis, because this is easily one of their best releases. And even like with this lip balm, anybody who knows me knows I love a glossy wet lip. Lips are my favorite part of the body. And I'm someone who doesn't go anywhere without a lip gloss and a lip balm. So to have one of these that have a color to it, that have a fragrance to it, it smells amazing, it feels amazing. And even though I'm wearing the berry shade, this is something you can feel comfortable wearing with, even if I was wearing a neutral eyeshadow look. So for me, maybe if I wasn't headed to work and gonna have to wear a mask there, I would have easily topped this off with a gloss just to get a more dramatic effect. But I think I'm about to just take this and just keep this carrying around with me because my lips feel amazing and even looking at them right now like, baby, I don't even see the lines in my lips right now. Like this is hydrating, it's smoothing, it's glossy. And look at that idol like, uh-huh, honey, come through. But I hope you all truly enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you also leave me a comment down below letting me know if you all are purchasing this collection. I personally think it is worth grabbing. And let's say you're someone who already has a lip balm you like or you just don't want to purchase an expensive one, still get just this palette. This whole set here was $26, but you can purchase just the palette for $14. And if nothing else, I would truly recommend you do that much. And make sure you stay tuned because later on in the week, I'm going to be trying the Nubian Glow palette and you already know. Oranges and blues don't do it for me. And to know that that next palette is orange, I'm already sitting back like. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't know, but I started things off with purple because I like purple and this has blew me away, exceeded all expectations. So you know what? I'm not even gonna feel bad about that orange. We're gonna go in optimistic. We're gonna go in excited. But once again, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel before you leave. If you're already subscribed, I wanna say thank you. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. But with nothing else, I hope you all remember to practice, continue to stay blessed, and until next time, goodbye YouTube.